Okay, here we are, day one of our backpacking trip. It was a beautiful sunrise through the smoke as we left. Uh, almost seven hours of driving later, we were finally headed in the final stretch of dirt road to the trailhead. There was a little beautiful uh, creek along the edge of the road. We got all the final packing done, ate some salads yet to be the last very fresh thing, and headed out. Probably headed straight uphill. There's a few trees right at the start, and from there on, um, pretty much everything we hiked this day what had been burnt, I think within the last year or so, because it there was very little regrowth. Crossed a lot of pretty creeks. There was often logs you could stay on, but it was also hot, so we were both getting our heads and feet wet to stay cool. But watching the beautiful clear water is always fun and the little chipmunks and ground squirrels and such that dash up and down the riverbanks. You can also see the charring on the bottom of a lot of the tree trunks there that he's running around. There were some really, really cool waterfalls over kind of slabby, um, bedrocky, water slidey looking rocks like that that were just, uh, I don't know, I just enjoy watching waterfall. I'm not sure why, but I do. So it was beautiful. Um, thankfully, because we didn't get started hiking till late in the afternoon, the sun was dying. Um, it also, because of the, it was very smoky there as well, but it was not too crazy sunny, which was nice because with the burnt trees, it was uh, pretty hot through most of that area. As you can see, there's you know a couple places there's trees that got missed by the fire, but the vast majority of trees were burnt out. Um, the hiking we got done today was pretty much all uphill on pretty decent trails, um, you know, rocks and switchbacks and whatever, but um, no no problems with route finding or anything, which was nice because neither of us had ever been to this area before, so we weren't quite sure how that was going to go. I've had experiences where trail maps and the actual ground do not always match up well, so I was just prepared to find whatever when we were in a new area. But everything seemed well laid out, well marked, um, nice solid signage at every trail intersection. And there was lots of pretty little wild wildflowers growing between the burnt out tree trunks and such along the edges of the paths. And pretty views for as far as you could see through the smoke. The higher we climbed, the less smoky it got, which was nice. We kind of climbed above a smoke layer and we're looking out across it and it was pleasant to be above it. Past this uh, cool GIS marker, I've never seen a benchmark one like that that wasn't on a peak before. Um, the trails were cleared pretty well. That's looking back down into the valley. You can see how smoky it was. We're still looking pretty fresh there. And finally reached the top of this ridge and dropped over into a little basin where we were going to spend the evening. So, oh yeah, yeah there's more pretty wildflowers. The flocks were kind of at their peak. And like I said, we got above the smoke for the most part, so you actually had some good views. Beth in that photo gives you a sense of scale of how, how big things are. And again, you can see down the valley how much smokier it is than where we were up high. More beautiful little flowers. I just love seeing the variety that just grow wild through the mountains. And then we camp by this little lake. If it's really big enough to call a lake, it was kind of like a large pond, actually. Filtered some fresh water. Um, rain gear was not because it was raining, but just to keep mosquitoes off. Cooked dinner. It was fairly late. The sun was setting. We were both tired. There's the kitchen. Um, cooking is kept well away from the tent. So I made it to our first camp. The sun is just setting over this pretty little lake. I just got the water boiling to make dinner. We I got up a little bit before six this morning, and we. Um, got on the road. It's a good long drive to the trailhead, so we didn't get to start hiking till about 2.45 in the afternoon, at which point it was blazing hot. But uh, we got about six and a half miles in and climbed about 3,500 feet of elevation, lost a little as well. But there's our tent. Um, it was really, really hot for the start, but thankfully, since it was so late in the evening, it cooled off by the 
end of that, which was nice because as you can probably see through the trees here, most of this area burnt. I'm not sure when, but at some point, so there's not much shade. Um, so anyway, I made it to camp, really tired, I'm going to eat and crawl in there and go to bed. So anyway, yeah, I'm beat. Six and a half miles, starting mid-afternoon, pretty much 100% uphill and in the heat. Is a little exhausting, but it's beautiful up here and peaceful. We only saw three other people after we left the trailhead, so it's pretty nice. So we slept well. I got a picture of me looking a little bit sleepy before I went to bed. There was kind of pretty glow from all the smoke right at sunset, and that was the end of day one of our trip. Thanks for watching, folks. If you're interested in more info on my off-grid tiny house life, check out some of my other videos here. And if you like what you're seeing, click the little picture of my house to subscribe and then hit the little bell so YouTube actually notifies you every time there's a new video available. See y'all next time.